Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got a fascinating topic to delve into. Why is grass green? Have you ever wondered why grass seems to have this consistent green color everywhere you go? Well, stick around because we're about to dive into the science behind it before we get into the nitty gritty details. Let's start with a quick overview. Grass appears green due to a remarkable process called photosynthesis. This natural phenomenon not only gives grass its color, but is also crucial for the survival of plants. Let's break it down. Photosynthesis is the process by which plants, including grass, produce their own food using sunlight. It's like a plant's way of cooking up a meal. This happens in tiny structures called chloroplasts, which contain a pigment called chlorophyll. Now, chlorophyll comes in different types, and the most common type is chlorophyll A. Chlorophyll absorbs sunlight and uses its energy to convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose, a sugar, and oxygen. The glucose provides the plant with energy while the oxygen is released into the atmosphere as a byproduct. But what does this have to do with the color green? Here's the interesting part. Chlorophyll is excellent at absorbing light from the blue and red parts of the spectrum, but it's not so great at absorbing green light. Instead, it reflects green light back to our eyes, making the grass appear green. That's why when sunlight hits grass, we perceive it as green. But wait, there's more. While chlorophyll A is the primary pigment responsible for the green color, other pigments also contribute to the overall coloration of plants. For example, carotenoids, which are orange and yellow pigments, play a role in absorbing light that chlorophyll can't, thus aiding the process of photosynthesis. Now let's talk about why grass specifically evolved to be green. Evolution is a master of efficiency, and the color of grass has a lot to do with its survival. Green is the color that best suits the grass because it helps it maximize photosynthesis. Grass can capture a wide range of sunlight while also avoiding overheating, which could happen if it absorbed too much energy from the sun. Think about it like this. If grass was, say, purple, it might absorb too much sunlight and overheat, damaging its own cells. On the other hand, if it was a color that absorbed less sunlight, it might not be as efficient in photosynthesis and might not survive as well. So, green turns out to be the Goldilocks color, striking the perfect balance between capturing energy and avoiding overheating. Of course, not all grass is the same shade of green. Different types of grass and various environmental factors can lead to variations in color. For instance, well-watered and healthy grass tends to be a vibrant and deep green. On the other hand, dry or stressed grass might appear paler. This color variation can clue us into the grass's overall health. And there you have it, the captivating science behind why grass is green. Isn't it amazing how something as simple as color is deeply rooted in the intricate workings of nature? Next time you take a stroll through a lush field, you'll know exactly why that grass beneath your feet is so wonderfully green. Thanks for joining us on this educational journey. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more captivating content. Until next time, keep exploring and keep wondering. Remember, the world is full of wonders, so keep asking those curious questions. See you soon.